Hello, I thought I'd shoot this video um, just to describe the problems I'm having with uh, a VFD that I'm wiring in for a lathe. Um, so this is a Huanyang 4 kilowatt uh, VFD um, and I'm trying to wire it in with as few extra components as possible. So I've got um, incoming contactor, circuit breaker, uh, a 24 volt DC power supply and uh, an MCB for that as well. And up here are the lathe apron micro switches for forward and reverse, uh, and then just some terminal blocks at the top. Uh, so this is the Huangyang VFD, uh, and I'm wiring up uh, for essentially a breaking stop on the apron forward reverse lever, uh, but on the foot switch, which has an integral break onto the pulley mechanical break i'm trying to wire in a freewheeling um or a, just a coasting stop on that now the huangyang vfd can do that um but you have to use the emergency stop feature and that is always coasting whereas the uh, stop a uh, normal stop can be coasting or braked or controlled deceleration um but anyway, I was having a, some problems because I wanted to use some of the extra outputs on the VFD. So the VFD comes with six configurable inputs. Uh, so they will be for things like forward, reverse, emergency stop, and you can configure any of those for one of, I think it's up to 32 features. Uh, but it also comes with three outputs. Now, the manual is, is quite terrible. But one of those outputs is a relay, which is a single pole changeover relay. And actually that relay, you can just see here, that is, that is the actual relay. And then the other two outputs are open collector um, configurable outputs. Again, configurable driven by the same stimuli as the, as the relay. So that can be things like... Um, in run with the so the uh, the spindles actually running or stop and um, as a counter uh, overflow and there's a timer feature and things like that but um, I'd come up with a schematic where I wanted to use the relay and one of the open collector outputs the relay worked fine the problem I had was with the open collector outputs no matter how I configured um, any of the settings, any of the programming uh, features, anything like that, I couldn't get anything to work on these open collector outputs. And they're actually here on the terminal block, they are labelled UPF and DRV. Um, and at the moment I've got them pulled up. So they're actually, the way I've got it configured, I want one of those to actually pull down one of the configured inputs. Um, so the configured inputs have what appears to be a 10k pull up anyway so the open collector should pull that down and activate the input that wasn't working so i pondered for a good day trying various settings uh, there's also a feature on this with auxiliary pumps so i tried turning those on and nothing um, so then i decided to look a bit further at the uh, schematic on the pcb so i pulled the control panel off and here's the PCB so these are the this is the terminal block and remember there's six inputs and three outputs uh, so the two outputs are the two open collectors are these two end terminals and the relay is actually connected to the ones under under here and that's the relay there and then I noticed um, there's two components missing here so these components are optocouplers so the six inputs which actually is quite a good design they're actually opto coupled uh, and you can see here there's six opto couplers for the six inputs there's an opto coupler here and that's for the relay and there's two missing and these are definitely connected to the actual outputs of these opto couplers if they were there they're actually connected to the the two open collector terminal pins and the inputs do actually um, work as expected through the settings. But obviously there's no optocoupler fitted to actually um, 
make that connection to the terminals. So I've bought a couple of optocouplers. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is to to fit those uh, and see what happens. I know that I'm not the only person to notice this. Back in so bearing in mind now the date is 2020. Uh, I've seen posts dating back to 2014, I think. Um, I've also seen videos of people, for other reasons, noisy fans uh, and things, taking these apart. And again, I've seen that those two optocouplers aren't fitted. Um, so anyway, what I'll do, I'll try and fit those and report back um, on the results. OK, so uh, we're back with the VFD. Um, I've soldered the two uh, optocouplers on the head. Sorry, I just realised there's not a live uh, wiring in here. Um, yeah, two optocouplers are soldered in. Um, obviously, they're reversed from the six because they are outputs, uh, but they are the same orientation as that third one, which is the relay uh, optocoupler. Um, and I'm pleased to say that at the moment it works. So. DRV and UPF uh, can be correctly configured as open corrector outputs um, and at the moment I'm just testing it with uh, actually pulling one of the inter or a couple of the input internal inputs uh, low um, so at the moment I've got um, UPF connected to uh, which is by default SPM and DRV is connected to SPL and um, yeah that works fine uh, so now I'll put the panel back in the lathe and see if it will work uh, as expected but um, hopefully that's an easy fix uh, of course the question is why aren't they fitted by default uh, there might be a very good reason um, or it could just be that um, you know it's an option on some VFDs and not on others. Uh, but if you do go for this modification, obviously it's entirely your own risk. Thank you very much. Goodbye.